project at the High School of Printing from 1958, but which gets going several years earlier, of course, uh, is a project with Kelly and Grusin. And it turns out that Kelly and Grusin, the architecture firm Kelly and Grusin, that, that uh, Grusin had been apparently a collector of Hans Hoffman's art and a great admirer of his, and therefore was, was very happy to be including, and like the idea of including a mural in a New York City high school. There had been a number of murals, uh, and Kelly and Grusin had done some of them as well. There had been a number of murals and art projects in New York City high schools in the entire post-war period. Hoffman, in some ways, Hoffman makes one of the greatest of those projects, which is the a large mural that uh, really uh, navigates between the sidewalk and the schoolyard itself uh, that runs around, uh, along the outside of the gymnasium auditorium wing, uh, more than 60 feet long, uh, his second mosaic project, and, and as it turns out, his final mosaic project.